Hey guys, so now I'm going to go over the value of the products included with this month's art snacks and um, I'm also going to demonstrate the products for you guys. So uh, I double checked and a year of art stack snacks is $200 with free shipping. Uh, each month of art snacks is $20 and that includes free shipping in the US. So, um, with that in mind, let's get started. Uh, the one jelly roll pin I got in white was $1.40, and that was from Jet Pins. These aren't necessarily, I couldn't find them on Dick Blick other than in sets, and really, you just want the one. So if you're an artist who likes to use jelly rolls for highlights, you're probably getting them from Jet Pins, or you're buying them in bulk. Um, the Zig Posterman, uh, I checked zigposterman.com, which seems to be the official site for these, it was 262. The craft Stonehenge paper, like they said, um, we're going by a 9 by 12 pad. That was 1814 uh, on Dick Blick, but I'm going to give it an estimated $4 value. Um, based on the fact that it's almost the same size as these Borden and Riley mini sketch pads and these range from like $3.50 to $4 sometimes you can find them on sale because they're kind of a weird size now the pro marker was $4.19 on Dick Blick and that was just their regular price for these so the total was $10.81 now considering you're paying $20 a month it's not really a good value it's not really a fair trade in my opinion so uh, it seems like this month might be a disappointing month for art snacks and sketchbox but still need to demonstrate these products now I am familiar with pro markers I am familiar with alcohol markers in general <laughs> very much familiar with alcohol markers in general um, but I also recently tested Winsor & Newton's pro markers and their brush markers. Sorry, I'm trying to get my Zig Posterman unwrapped. It had like a, a shrink film on it. And I can go ahead and grab a brush marker for you guys. And this is for comparison. Uh, this one was, I mean, they're both purchased out of my own pocket but um, one was included in an art snack subscription and one was purchased uh, open stock, I think. Yeah, that one was open stock from David Art Supply in New Orleans, Louisiana. So, I'll zoom in. You can see the brush marker has a nice, large, flexible brush tip, whereas the pro marker has a bullet nib. And if you enjoy using alcohol-based markers, you probably do not enjoy bullet nib markers. I find them very annoying and tedious to use. Um, designers might feel otherwise. People who do lettering as a profession might feel otherwise, but they are not my favorite. Sorry. So let's pop open this cute little Stonehenge pad and do some swatches. And I suppose I should also swatch on a regular paper. So the chisel nib on these is pretty much cut from a solid piece of like compressed felt. Um, and it is prone to skipping. Alright, here's the jelly roll. Oh, alright, okay. So it was easy to start. And uh, so far, it's working well. But anybody who grew up in the early 2000s and used gel pins, especially opaque gel pins, copiously knows they always work the first day. They never work if you come back three weeks later. So that's the real test in my opinion. Now that's the Zig Posterman marker. And I thought it looked very similar to Uni Pasca markers. And in fact, they are extremely similar in terms of body design. Goodness. So I'll leave that Pasca right there. 
Now it has a large bullet nib, and this is one of the fine uh, Poscas. Caps post on both. Body design is very, very similar. I've already got a couple of videos up on Posca. I'll have more videos up on, uh, ooh, all right. So it was easier to get started than my Poscas were. And I have a feeling this handles, ooh, look at that. Similarly in that, if you, if you can get on it while it's still wet, yeah, you can blend it out. Ooh, look at that. But I bet after it dries, it's not going anywhere. Now this, especially the fact that you can like really go to town on it with water, really reminds me of last month's Wink of Luna. And there's my Wink of Luna. Oop! I keep opening it from the wrong end because I expect, I just, yeah. So, these are, um, I'm pretty, yeah, they're both made by Zig, so they might actually be using similar pigments and inks, and it's just in a different form. So, I'm going to put some Zig down and let it dry, and then hit it with a marker a little bit later on. Now, something that's kind of impressed me already is that I, I just put a lot of water on this paper. You guys, I used a water brush. I was being generous. It didn't even soak through. So Stonehenge paper, that's pretty cool. That's something you don't see every day in my, at least in my experience. So um, I'm going to end the video here and I'm going to be working on my sketch box and art snacks challenges separately. So if you guys are interested, please check those out as well. All right guys, bye.